Hello everybody, this is Dee from Dee's Cute and Crafty and I am back with another video as promised. We are working with cardboard today. This is video number four of my I Love Christmas series. Um, I did a haul video in between, but we're back on the I Love Christmas and we are crafting all things cardboard. So let's jump right in. I have some batting and some Dollar Tree car chamois masking tape, a little bit of greenery from my stash. I will also be using these frosted berries from Dollar Tree. I have gingham in green, black, and red. The, my ribbons from everywhere. Of course, cardboard, you guys. I've got some Waverly White and the Dollar Tree's orange acrylic paint and some black buttons. So I'm going to start out using my roll of masking tape to make my circle for this snowman. I'm going to make two ornaments for you guys today out of cardboard. And I'm only doing two because they are kind of detailed. So the video was getting long, but we will continue on with the cardboard in the next video. So we're just going to make the head and then I'm going to freehand the little hat. I love this hat with the little pom pom on it just for a change of pace. Cause you guys know, I love doing the top hat as well, but we're going to do this one. I'm just sketching everything out. And then I just made my little carrot nose. And the best thing about this is that cardboard is free. It is so easy to use. You can cut it with your scissors or your craft knife. It just depends on what you want to do. And we're going to stack this. We're going to cut multiple pieces of cardboard to make the hat, to make the face, to make the nose, because we want it to be chunky. We want it to have some, some thickness to it. So as thick as you want it determines how many cardboard pieces you cut. So I think I did like three or four for each piece. This is so cute. What I really did was just measure it out with the width of my ribbon that I'm going to be using to go around the outer edge so that you don't see the corrugation of the cardboard. But again, this was simple and easy and fun to do. I am taking my um, gingham or buffalo check paper from Crafter Studio at Hobby Lobby. This was part of my haul. And I'm just going to cut out that hat. Just going to trim it out and use my glue stick and glue it down to the cardboard. This is a beautiful ornament. It's lightweight. And I, I almost really feel like it's free <laughs> because the cardboard is free. Of course, you had to buy the paper, 59 cent with 40% off. But the buttons and the greenery and all and the paint, I had that. So I just really feel like this was such an affordable DIY. Absolutely adorable. So we're just going to lay down a nice layer of that jot glue stick and then lay down that craft paper, smooth everything out, make sure it sticks. And now I'm going to take the face of the snowman. And I'm just going to give it a, a good coat of the white paint by Waverly, but I'm going to leave some of the brown showing through. I feel like this is very rustic, very farmhouse, and it gives it almost a look of like birch wood when you leave a little bit of that brown cardboard showing through. And I love it. And now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and paint my little carrot nose. And I just put the carrot nose on a piece of masking tape to keep it from moving around on my table. When you're painting something super small, it's just easier to tape it down. Now I'm going to take that piece of car chamois and trim it out, trimming it down to size to make a little fur um, roll at the bottom of this hat. You guys... Comment down below. Let me know what you think of these two. I know you're used to me giving you three, but again, these two pieces were so detailed and the video was getting long, but I will come to you in my next video with Sammy done out of cardboard and also a gingerbread house done from cardboard. So if you want to see that, make sure that you are subscribed and your notification bell is on and it's on all. So you never miss out on another cute and crafty DIY with me. So now I'm just taking my ribbon and I'm just hot gluing it all along the edge of the cardboard, 
covering up that corrugation, making this really cute and seamless and making it look store-bought. These are simple and you can make so many in all different kinds, all different color variations, change up the hat, change up the look on the snowman's face, anything that you want to do with this and make enough of them to cover your Christmas tree. But you got to get going because we're already headed towards November. I mean, this is October 26th or 7th. Yeah, Christmas will be here before you know it. So if you're going to make snowmen for your tree, you better start crafting. So now I'm just trimming away the excess ribbon, which is super easy to do. I also took my ribbon and covered the trim of the snowman's face. And now I'm just going to place the hat so I can get a better idea of how I want the eyes and the nose to sit. Just going to make my little line so I know where to put my glue. And we're going to glue down this hat. Now I'm going to glue down my little button eyes. Cleaning up any of the glue that kind of, you know, pushes its way through the little buttonholes. Going to glue my nose down. And now I have a very good idea of where I want the mouth to go. So I did it in pencil like I always do, just in case I need to make any adjustments, I can erase it. But I like how it looks, so I'm going back in with my black marker, and we're going to darken everything up. So you guys, you know I love rustic decor, and I have to. I have to make this rustic. So I took my um, ribbon, and I decided to use the red and the green. And I just made a bow. You know, I make my loops. And I pinch them together and tie them down with some jute cord. So we're just going to take those loops, take that little bow, and hot glue it to the bottom of the snowman. I'm going to let that jute twine hang down because I'm going to go on my stash and grab these little wooden snowflakes. And these came from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to give them a coat of the Waverly Antique Wax. And I'm going to use four. I'm showing you two, but I ended up putting one on the front and one on the back. I tied a knot in the jute and then I just hot glued that knot to the center of the snowflake because it had a hole in it so the knot fit perfectly in that hole with some hot glue. How cute is he? I added, As I was saying, I added a jute cord hanger to the back of the snowman using just some hot glue and masking tape and now he can be hung on your Christmas tree. I just added a little bit of that frosted berry and some greenery to the side of his hat just to give it a little bit of extra something, a little bit of pop. And he is absolutely adorable, you guys. Simple, easy, quick, very affordable. And you can do so many of these for your Christmas tree this year. I love it. And I hope you guys do too. Comment down below as always. Let me know. Moving on to DIY number two, still working with cardboard, some of the Dollar Tree lace ribbon. We're going to be using the vellum from the Hobby Lobby from that haul. And then I have some musical notes paper. I have black and then I have a, a beigey kind of tan color. Using my glue stick, using the Waverly White chalk paint, and I'm just going to use the red paint bottle to make my circles. I'm actually not going to use the red paint. But I need some circles for this angel ornament that we're making. I need some for the head of the angel and I need some for the halo. But as you guys um, see when we go further into this DIY, I am not going to be using that halo. I didn't end up loving it, but I came up with something else. So you see me sketching out the wings on the cardboard, just freehanding what I have in my head. Um, as far as what I want the wings to look like. And then again, I'm going to cut out multiple of these, multiple circles for the head, multiple wings, multiple halo pieces. And now I'm just sketching out the angel body. And I'm going to cut out multiple pieces of this in cardboard. 
uh, four to six for each shape so that we can stack them together and make this a very thick and chunky substantial ornament for your tree. Here you see me making the angel's little arm and hand. Going to do multiples of those as well. For uh, video purposes, you see me just sketching everything out and you just see the one piece. But of course, when I cut it all out, I'm going to cut it out several times. And now you see me working on the trumpet or the horn. And I'm going to cut out all my pieces. Here's everything all cut out. And now we're going to hot glue all of the pieces together to make them thick and chunky. I can't get over how easy and affordable this is. And you guys can get cardboard from anywhere. Grocery stores will give it to you. Department stores will give it to you. Dollar Tree will give it to you. Absolutely free. If you don't have a lot of um, boxes coming to your house for like Amazon and gifts and stuff like that, you can get free cardboard just about anywhere. So now that I've got the body of the angel all glued together, I'm just going to trace it out on the paper. And then I'm going to cut it out with my scissors and use my glue stick to apply it to the cardboard. Excuse me. Just as before, smoothing everything down, making sure that it all sticks. And now I'm going to do the same with the angel wings. But before I glue down the vellum, I want to add a coat of the Waverly White chalk paint because I feel like it's going to make my wording on those wings pop a lot more. You'll be able to see it better if you have a white background behind that vellum. I'm going to go ahead and paint the halo as well. And again, I didn't even end up using this, but at the time, <laughs> I didn't know that I wasn't going to use it. Just trimming the paper up after applying it to the cardboard. It hung over just a little bit, so I want to get that all trimmed away. So I glued the hands together as well and added the same craft paper that's on the body of the angel to the arm of the angel. And now I'm just going in with that really pretty lace ribbon, that farmhouse lace ribbon from Dollar Tree. And I'm covering up the corrugation on every single piece that you see cut here. I took some of the Waverly White and a little bit of the Folk Art Teddy Bear Brown and mixed it together to get the color that I wanted to use for the angel's face and hand. Going to go around the body of the dress and add some of that really pretty lace there as well. Every single piece got lace around the edge of it. Everything except, I guess, the trumpet. It was too thin, so I didn't do it. But I did um, make sure everything was painted black where there was areas where there was no paper, like the back of it and the sides of it. I just painted it black. So now I'm going to attach the angel's head and I'm going to attach it more towards the back than the front, just scooting it back as far as I can on the body because it's going to give me a nice place to put the hand and have the horn sitting in the angel's hand and not look weird. You have to set the head back a little bit so you have room to place all your parts. So now I'm just looking to see where the wings are going to go one in the front and one in the back, and then just kind of layering them a little off from each other so that you can see both of, both pieces. You don't want to line them up absolutely even. 
At least I didn't want to. If you guys want to, you can. But I just feel like this is a better look if you stagger them just a little bit. And now I'm cleaning up some glue. Used a little bit too much. So we're just going to clean that up. Looking at placement and marking it for the wing in the back. And didn't realize I had that blue stripe on the back of that cardboard. Just go over it with some white paint and it will be just fine. If you have cardboard that has, you know, any type of lettering on it, cover it with craft paper, brown craft paper or paint. And now I'm just getting placement of the hand and the horn and marking it before adding my glue. And then with the horn, I decided I kept trying to just hot glue it to the top of the hand, but it really wasn't enough surface area for that. But, you know, the the hand is made from layers of cardboard. So all I ended up doing was opening up the hand, just kind of making a little slit in the cardboard. You see me pulling it apart. And then the, the horn or the trumpet set down in that nicely. I just added some hot glue down in there and set the horn down in the cardboard of the hand because around the tip of the hand, there is no lace because it's so tiny. So I was able to open that up and set the horn with some hot glue right into the opening of the hand. Now here you see me trying to get my halo on and I just didn't like the look of it. It looked like a hat. It looked weird to me. And so I said, no, I, I don't like it. I'm not going to use it. So I ended up just taking some greenery, some pine greenery and making a little like wreath shape with it and adding some berries to it. And you'll see that in the reveal. So here's the final reveal of DIY number two. And as you guys can see, I made the little halo out of greenery, like I told you I did. And I like that so much better. And this is an ornament as well. I just added some jute twine, again, to the back of this piece. It's very lightweight. And you can hang this on your tree along with your snowman if you decide to do that. But this is beautiful and I love it. It really looks like something you could just buy in the store. I, I, I absolutely think it's adorable, you guys. The angel came out so nice. I love both pieces. It's, it's hard to say which I love the best. On that snowman, I couldn't help it. I had to rustic him up a little bit. I took my antique wax and I just kind of dry brushed over his face a little bit and on the hat. And then I took some Waverly White and I just made some little um, like little dots on the hat to make it look like the fur on the hat had snow on it. So I love both of these pieces. I hope you guys do too. If you like this content, please give it a big fat thumbs up so YouTube knows that you like it. They push my videos out and more people can see it. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. It really helps my channel to grow and I appreciate you guys. Until I see you on my next one, be blessed, be safe, and craft something beautiful today, you guys. Bye.